We are back on the Meredith Show with our most beloved senior care experts. We have a new guest, Rachel Pate, and our regular Heather Emmer is back on the Meredith Show, and they are sporting their shows, shirts, their beautiful shirts, for a good reason, because this Saturday they, they have a huge event, and before we get into that event, those people who are tuning in for the first time need to know a little bit about Harbor Chase of Columbia. Now, there are many Columbias in the world. The one we're talking about is located on a beautiful lake in the suburbs of Columbia, the Irmo area of South Carolina. So how is the weather in South Carolina, ladies? Beautiful today. Excellent. Fall has arrived? Yes, fall has arrived. Finally. <laughs> we're so excited. I know. <laughs> we're all dressed for the, you know, for the fall season and everyone has their sweaters out and their, you know, the warm socks and fall decorations. It's beautiful around the community. Well, it's so good to have you back on the show and as per usual, you have a lot of dedicated team and community members coming out to support the walk to end Alzheimer's. And before we talk about that event, I know Rachel would like to share Harbor Chase of Columbia is an assisted living community that helps people in many phases of their life. So if there is a memory care need, you are there to serve as well with some special amenities. Tell people at home about the, the services. Well, we're very excited about this new service that we're offering. Um, we have t a towel warmer. So before each meal, we provide our memory care residents with warm towels just to kind of wipe their faces and their hands and get them warmed up and prepared for the meal. So we're very excited about that. Yes, there are a lot of special added touches I've noticed, and not every assisted living community offers so many lovely details. And I know if people at home are kind of wondering if mom and dad are in need of care or, or how to figure out when you need a little bit of help, Heather, you are always there to rise to that occasion and often bring people in for a tour, and you're very generous, as I understand, with your information, yes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um you know, I'm just a phone call away or just a visit away um, anytime anyone wants to come in to visit with me and, you know, we can talk about opportunities uh, for their loved one in the community to meet their needs, um, whether that's more of a, you know, a physical or cognitive need that they have. So we can meet a lot of, a lot of different ranges of care uh, within our community. That's right, because everybody's needs are unique. So I'll start out with telling people we are giving some prizes away, and not one, not two, but three <laughs> prizes on this board. <laughs> so if you see this video, share it if you know somebody who'd like to help join the fight to walk and to end Alzheimer's in Columbia, South Carolina. The phone number to dial, get your pens ready, we like to give notice is 803-781-2243. Again, that's 803-781-2243. We'll post it at the bottom of this broadcast, and we hope that you'll share this information because there are many people battling, trying to take care of a family, and there seems like in many cases, uh, there just isn't enough time in the day to do everything you'd like to do, and, and if you're feeling overwhelmed, you're not alone. Both Heather and Rachel are very accustomed to comforting and helping those in need, yes? Oh yeah, right. absolutely. Um, there's um, actually, this year alone in the state of South Carolina, there are 85,000 people living with Alzheimer's disease. Wow. Um, there is a tremendous need to help raise more awareness, um, increase funding, um, and to have, you know, the overall, overall state and the federal government to be able to back and help end this disease. Well, and you were mentioning earlier, there has been a team formed, and it's not too late, although tomorrow, October 21st, in the morning is when the walk is. If you're watching this today and you'd like to get a t-shirt and perhaps come over and arrange a future tour or join that walk, I know it's always a great event. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You can find them with their fine sign, yes. I understand yes. giving away goodies and water, yes. Goodies, yes. We'll be at a oh. water station. <laughs> I love that. I love this. It's always an adventure when you two a water <laughs> station <laughs> trail mix. So we have all of your morning needs for breakfast. They'll be met along the route um, for the Alzheimer's Walk. Uh, it's actually going to kick off at the Spirit Communications Park in downtown Columbia. That's our uh, in our baseball stadium there. And folks that would like to register ahead of time, they can do that online or they can um, actually register there in person um, at the registration booth. 
yes. tomorrow morning. So you want to show that you for 9 a.m. Yes, if you're interested, yes. you can just show up. But if you call ahead again to that number, 803-781-2243, you could win a fine t-shirt that I am not <laughs> have and be a part of the walk to end Alzheimer's in Columbia. I'm sure that they would graciously accept a donation after, but it's so much fun to be in the spirit. Yes. Absolutely. So come on out at, at nine o'clock. The opening ceremony is at 945 tomorrow morning, October 21st. And then the walk is starting right at 10 o'clock. So come out and, and show your support. And we will be, we will be there. loud and proud to help <laughs> bring more awareness. So Southern. I love that. I miss my loud and proud. Of course, I'm broadcasting <laughs> from Los Angeles. Not as loud and proud over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love that. And also, I'm just going to give you a moment, Rachel, if you want to tease ahead. You have some super activities. Halloween is coming. Tell us what people can expect at Harbor Chase of Columbia, where you celebrate senior living. So we have a lot of fun things coming up Halloween. Um, we are having our big Halloween bash this coming Friday, October 27th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. So come dress in your costumes because <laughs> the winner will get a prize. Ooh, yeah. I love a good prize. And I bet yes. Heather is going to tease us with her costume coming up soon enough. Yes, Heather? Yes. Yes. So stay tuned for another segment. And yes. we will be teasing with fun costumes. I love that. Okay. Well, thank you both so much. It's always a joy. And if you're watching at home, we have two S. Please share this with someone you know, like, or love, because there is never enough good information on the walk to end Alzheimer's and caring for loved ones at any phase of life. And we hope that you'll call and get a free t-shirt at 803-781-2243. Ask for Heather. I have to say, Heather Emmer and Rachel Pate, it's always a joy to have you on the program. Thank you Thank so you much. For having us. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Well, we'll see you soon on that walk. Bye-bye.